Hello, this is Pratishtha. We all have heard of Tesla, right? Especially about its innovative and out of the world cars. I'm pretty sure the majority of you are dreaming of owning one. But what if I tell you that you don't have to go anywhere and fulfill your dream of owning electric cars? Our own Tata is giving tough competition to Elon Musk Tesla. Let's dig deeper and understand the basics first. Tesla cars comes with autopilot and an AI enabled autonomous drive mode. But there is a catch. The car will not drive autonomously unless the drivers are alert and have their hands on the wheel. The car will be equipped with 8 cameras with 12 ultrasonic sensors and an AI model for additional safety. Tesla has taken an advanced step to introduce bioweapon defense mode with HEPA filtration system abbreviated as high efficiency particulate air. The system is used in hospital. The HEPA filters the toxic chemicals from getting into the car's cabin. Teslas have a smart auto raising air suspension system that changes depending on where your car is located using the GPS. Users can also change how firm the suspension is on their own by using Tesla's control panel. If you are driving across the country and the road changes, this feature could be very useful. Tesla brings in sentry mode which allows the owner to keep an eye on the parked vehicle if any accident or incident caused by someone is recorded with the external cameras and alerts you via the Tesla app. Tesla's advanced parking sensors allow drivers to be completely aware of objects that may be too close. If an object gets too close to your vehicle, the car will notify you through audible and visual indicators that you are veering too close to something. As you all heard in the news, Elon Musk plans to launch Tesla in India by 2023. The government of India is happy to welcome Tesla to India. And government has cut down the import duties which could bring down the on-road price of the cars. The government of India also offered a PLI scheme to Tesla which supports the auto sector by promoting the research, development and production of advanced automotive technology products. But Tesla turned down the PLI scheme. The PLI scheme offers incentives of up to 18% to encourage auto and parts makers to keep more of their supply chain in the country and deal with cost disadvantages. How can Tata sustain Tesla? Tata is a well established automotive sector of India which provides great vehicles with good features at an affordable price to Indian customers. Tata bought Jaguar and Land Rover from Ford in 2008 but everyone thought it was a suicidal deal. But Tata was not planning to increase its reputation through this deal. Instead, the deal was to provide the R&D for EV models in the coming years. R&D from the Jaguar and Land Rover helped Tata increase their production rate of EV vehicles and sustainable EV models for the Indian environment. Tata was seek the solution for the depletion of fossil fuels required for IC engines and introduce the EV models at the right time as fuel price is increasing day by day. Here is the initiative was taken by Tata over the past 5 years like introducing the first public EV charging station at Vikroli in 2017 9 EV charging station were put into service captive charging stations were set up at a customer's place of business in Hyderabad customers were given end to end solutions for EV charging infrastructure in Delhi Hero Electric and Mahindra worked together to put in two stations for two wheelers and five stations for four wheelers Customers can now use a software platform and a mobile app to find EV charging stations, charge their EVs and pay their bills online. Another good part of Tata is that they not only manufacture cars but also provide commercial vehicles. Tata's commercial vehicles are well set up and one of the best competitors in Indian commercial vehicle market. Tata Power works with electric vehicles makers like MG Motor India, Jaguar, Land Rover India and Tata Motors to build charging infrastructure. Tata Motors and Tata Power are working together to build more than 300 fast charging stations in cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore, Pune and Hyderabad. These partnerships help the company because Tata Power's charging stations are already there when EV makers bring their cars to certain areas. Tata Power's partnership with Central Railway Mumbai and the UN Environment Program to provide charging stations at railway station persists its notable. Tata Power will put EV charging stations in the train stations in Mumbai. 
oil marketing companies are also making plans for the electric vehicle market. Indian Oil Corp, the biggest refiner and marketer, has put in 257 EV charging stations at its retail stores and plans to put in another 1800 stations this fiscal year. Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited has teamed up with three companies including Tata Power to help set up charging stations at its retail outlets. Tata Power has also signed memorandums of understanding with Indiprastha Gas and the government of Maharashtra to set up infrastructure for charging electric vehicles. So, looking at this initiative taken by Tata can become a major obstacle to Tesla. Additionally, Tesla has turned down the government's PLI scheme which could have gained incentives for R&D and manufacturing of vehicles in India. Tata has already set up charging stations and plans to set up charging stations in the whole country. But for Tesla, it could be a challenging task to get up the charging stations as Tata is already set up on the ground. If Tesla imports the built car from overseas, it could incur heavy taxation and cause more cost on the car. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to the Learn Bay channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon.